SpaceX opened its doors for the collaboration with another big company. The company is looking to expand its business with high opportunities. In short, this is a rideshare, but instead this big flight is to space. With this big news, SpaceX found a new beneficiary, VADA, to send its facility to space. This is getting more exciting, right? In this video, we will talk about the collaboration of SpaceX with VARDA, a new $3.2 billion space factory. Wow, space is getting fancy. But first, a big welcome to all newcomers to this channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. Now, let's get started with the video. VARDA is a space manufacturing startup that focuses on creating products in space for terrestrial applications. They aim to manufacture things in space that benefit from low gravity. The company intends to create an infrastructure that harvests source materials for new products in space via asteroid mining. The company was founded in 2020 by Delian Asparuov and Trey Stevens. From a young age, Will Brewey, the co-founder and chief executive of Varda Space Industries, was fascinated with space and running his own business. So when the former SpaceX engineer was tapped by Delian Asparov and Trey Stevens of Founders Fund to work on Varda, he didn't think twice. In 2023, Varda Space Industries will send its first spacecraft into orbit aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Rocket Lab, SpaceX's rival launch company, will make the spacecraft that will take the startups to orbit. Rocket Lab will also produce two more space vehicles for Varda. Two modules made by Varda will be fitted to the three vehicles, a microgravity module and a capsule for re-entry. Each spacecraft should spend around three months in orbit. The re-entry module will bring back approximately 40 to 60 kilograms worth of manufactured material. Varda's goal is to unlock microgravity's benefits, which can only be found in space for the manufacturing of novel materials like bioprinted organs and specialized semiconductors. Startups believe that there is a large market for these materials. The Torrance, California-based startup, has moved first since it was founded by Will Brewey, a SpaceX veteran, and Delian Asparuov, Founders Fund principal, a little over a year ago. Varda announced a $42 million Series A in July and plans to follow an aggressive launch schedule with two launches in 2023 and one in 2024. The spacecraft will be one among many on the Falcon 9 rideshare mission. This new program, which allows customers to carpool to orbit, spreads the cost to go to space. SpaceX claims to reduce launch costs to as low as $1 million per customer, who wants to send 200 kilograms of payload to sun-synchronous orbit. The VADA mission is to build the first space factory, essentially the first industrial park on orbit. CEO Will Brewey, who spent much of the past decade working on SpaceX's Cargo Dragon spacecraft, told CNBC, VADA raised $42 million in a round lead by Kozla Ventures and Caffeinated Capital and joined by investors including Lux Capital, General Catalyst and Founders Fund. With $11 million raised in a prior seed round, the company has brought in $53 million since its founding eight months ago. Based in Torrance, California, VADA founder Will Brewey and Founders Fund principal Delian Asparov the pair have assembled a team of 16 from across the aerospace world thus far, with several from Musk's company, and expect to grow Varda to a team of more than 40 by the time of its first launch. Manufacturing materials in space is not a novel concept, as the International Space Station has served as a testbed for a variety of companies and products. SpaceX notably brings thousands of pounds of cargo and research to and from the ISS about every six months. But Varda wants to take that a step further, to launch and return space-made products more quickly. The way that we judge our success is the frequency of re-entry, because that's the frequency of bringing us value back down to earth, Asparuov said. Asparuov differentiated Varda from other companies that work within space manufacturing by saying his company is focused on how that adds value to those on earth, rather than in space. Varda will look to tap markets for products such as semiconductors, fiber optic cables, or pharmaceuticals, extremely large marketplaces here on the ground. He also said that Varda can exist because we don't have to build the entire technology system ourselves. A point Brewey emphasized, nothing we are doing is novel other than in aggregate, Brewey said.
VADA is creating a three-piece spacecraft consisting of a commercially available spacecraft platform, the manufacturing module, and a heat shield protected capsule to re-enter through the atmosphere and land under parachutes. The company is aiming to have its first launch and re-entry in 18 months with the goal of bringing back about 100 kilograms of material. VADA is at preliminary design review level currently, Brewey said, going through final details with regulators and stakeholders. Brewey said that VADA expects its first mission will launch on a rideshare launch, riding a rocket alongside other spacecraft. Asparov added that the company will re-enter its capsule in the US overland to keep the cost as low as possible. The targeted landing site is yet to be announced. But Asparov noted that there is only a few places suitable, as it needs to be a large area without a local population, likely a desert. The funds VADA raised so far will get the company to our first mission, Asparov said, and might even be able to skate through our second mission as well. Asparov pointed to the recent attention and excitement surrounding the launches of billionaires Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos as focusing on how people can reach space. But I feel like it's actually quite relevant as we are bringing the benefits of space to everyone down here on Earth and we're able to do so for the same reasons, which is that launch costs are cheaper. Infrastructure is cheaper, Asparov said. I think VADA can go after a much larger market than space tourism in terms of products that impact a ton of people's lives here on Earth. Asparov added, We've got to start off in a commercially pragmatic step-by-step -step approach. So it's first with a low Earth orbit mission, and then we'll steadily expand from there, where we take larger missions and we'll go to more fixed stations in orbit. Until now, almost all in-space manufacturing research has been conducted in the International Space Station. While research from the ISS has demonstrated that it is possible to manufacture in-space innovative materials and products that can help to revolutionize industries back on Earth, there is currently no pathway to commercialization. Since prolonged exposure to zero gravity is not possible on the planet, it's exciting to use our expertise in spacecraft to bring that brand new capability to industries serving large markets on Earth, said Will Brewey. He further added, I'm excited to use SpaceX as our launch provider because their reusable launch vehicles have proven to be highly reliable and cost efficient, providing the certainty and unit economics that we rely on to deliver unprecedented access and value to all kinds of new products that can only be manufactured in space. Let's see what happens next in our space world. This sounds amazing, right? Let us know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Also, we are grateful for your love and support. With this, we have reached the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching.